Hello everybody. So today we are making a hash breakfast skillet on the Blackstone with eggs and potatoes and peppers and onions and and dewy sausage and all kinds of goodies and man it's gonna come out awesome I can't wait I love making breakfast on the Blackstone uh, so everybody if you're new to the channel I want to thank you for stopping by I uh, want to make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell if you're a current subscriber I want to thank you for all your support it means a lot uh, continue to get great comments and uh, keep giving me those thumbs up I really do appreciate it so everybody let's get cooking so we're gonna start with our prep work and we're gonna use our Kuma chef's knife. I've been featuring this a lot because I love it. I don't feature anything that I don't love and I will tell you this, this knife is awesome. It's got a nice heavy handle, a uh, nice steel. Um, I paid 25 bucks for this thing on Amazon. The link is down below and uh, I highly recommend it. So if you want one, click on the link below and in, uh, in the description and check it out. So we start off by cutting up our potatoes. I dice these up pretty good. Uh, not super, super dice, but um, pretty thin. And there's a reason why. I'll tell you a little bit later if you stick around. So that's it. I only ended up using three, but you can use as many as you need. But that's three red potatoes right there. Now we have our bell peppers. Beautiful orange one right there beautiful yellow and red as well so I've showed you this before easy way to cut bell peppers start at the top go around the outside and go back down to the inside on the bottom kind of like a curve there and look at that you don't waste anything you don't have to deal with the seeds inside huge time saver and then when you dice these up you want the skin side down the inside up uh, inside side up and then uh, slice them up and dice them up like that that's because if you try to slice these through the outside shiny part it's not as easy to cut through so that's kind of why I do it that way so that's it just dice them up time for the red one start at the top curve it down and look how easy that is no waste throw it away just keep moving on so Obviously, all the peppers cook at the same rate, so I put them all in one bowl. I try to keep things separate by how long they take to cook. Uh, so if it takes the same amount of time, I just kind of keep them together. And then finish it up with our yellow, beautiful yellow peppers. And these are sweet. They're not spicy at all. For those of you who may be saying, wow, pepper is too spicy. But uh, bell peppers are very sweet, actually. There's really, literally no spice to them at all, as far as heat. But they have great flavor, and they look, <laughs> they look beautiful, the color. And then I take a half a yellow onion here, and uh, it's already been cut in half and prepped. So I slice it one way. You can see the slice marks right there. Turn it 90 degrees, and then slice the other way. And this gives them a nice, diced uh, onion does not <laughs> tear you're not going to tear up at all I remember when I first started cooking back in college I used to be crying in the kitchen and then uh, finish it up with our andouille sausage our Cajun sausage here and these are going to be just chopped up into little half inch slices uh, this is going to definitely give us a little bit of heat for our breakfast hash and finishing these up and I'm going to give some nice meat to our breakfast. Those are beautiful. And then finally, we have our green onion. About two or three green onions. Very fresh. Very nice. Uh, we're going to chop off the tips here. And then just dice them all the way down. We're going to use the whole thing here. This is going to give it a little bit of color. As well as flavor, the green onion, uh, just it just gives it a nice, nice flavor. And that's it. Move it off to the side. That's going to be kind of like the last thing that we throw into our, uh, to our breakfast hash. That's it. Right there. Looks beautiful. And then finally, our bacon. 
uh, about two or three strips of thick cut bacon. And we're just going to chop this up uh, into little chunks. And you're not even going to know. Like if, if you didn't know there was bacon in there, you wouldn't know. But the flavor that you get is just outstanding for just th this little amount. And we're going to use it for some oil as well as the, I'm not, well, I'm sorry, some grease, some bacon grease, as well as the, uh, the flavor. It just bacon makes everything better. <laughs> All right. So Blackstone is heated up. Looks beautiful. Nice and seasoned. Ready to go. I'm going to put down some avocado oil here. Spread it out. And start with our potatoes. So I always start with the, the food that takes the longest to cook. For obvious reasons. And I put down some kosher salt. Some pepper, fresh ground pepper, black pepper, some paprika for some color. Kind of the same thing I always do with these potatoes, and there's a reason why it just it works. Uh, and then some garlic. I like to season my potatoes pretty heavily. And then here we go, some Daddy Dutch Barbecue Sweet Heat Rub. Daddy Dutch from uh, Daddy Dutch Barbecue sent me some of this few weeks ago and I've been dying to use it I've heard it's really spicy so I'm going to use it very sparingly here on the potatoes and kind of test out the waters because <laughs> I've heard it's like really hot so uh, it's a it's a breakfast hash with andouille sausage so you know what let's make it a little spicy and uh, we'll give it a shot here so uh, so anytime I cook my potatoes it's the same thing Got medium to medium high heat. You want to uh, put them under this grill dome with some water. After about two minutes, two or three minutes, lift it up. Take them off the bottom. You can see the bottom starting to get some color. And kind of mix them up so they cook evenly with the, the darkening of the, the outside. Uh, and then we put them back in the same kind of shape and then cover them again, steam them again for another couple minutes. And that's pretty much it. I mean, they're real easy to make. That's it. A couple more minutes go by and stir them up some more. And you can see here the bottoms are really getting nice, toasty color. So for this particular dish, you want to cook them about 90% done. Um, and then just kind of move them off to the side. They're going to stand by over there. I turned down the, uh, the heat to low on the right side of the, the black zone. And then here we go. We got our bacon chunks. We're going to stick these bacon chunks down. And also our andouille sausage. So we got the meat down next. So the andouille sausage is going to cook quicker than the bacon. Um, I probably should have separated these before, but I didn't, so <laughs> it's okay. That's what, that's, that's what happens when you when you cook. You just fix whatever, uh, whatever you just adapt on the fly. So there you go. Now I, now I separate them, you can see. And the reason why I did that is because the, the sausage is already cooked. Basically, you're just heating them up and giving them some color. Um... And obviously the bacon needs to be cooked. So it's going to take a little bit longer for the bacon. No big deal. Uh, so we separate them and start turning the sausage. And then sausage, you can tell, it looks like it's done. So we're going to move these over to the standby section. And they are going to hang out there with the potatoes until this bacon is done. But first, we're going to taste the andouille. Because look at that. <laughs> it looks beautiful. So bacon is pretty much done. We're going to move that over as well. So we've got our meat and potatoes over off to the right. All done, ready to go. And we're going to start with our vegetables. So... Um, Give ourselves a little bit more room here. And we're just going to spread these out nice and thin so that every uh, or most of the veg, uh, most of the veggies are touching the 
the griddling surface because that's the quickest way to cook them. Uh, and same thing here, salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic salt as well. And then I tasted the potato and let me tell you, it was great. It wasn't that, that spicy. So we're gonna kick it up some more with this Daddy's Dutch sweet heat. I like spicy. <laughs> So that's kind, of, that's kind of where we're at here with some sections. You don't want to let the, uh, the veggies go too long because they'll get all, you know, too wilted. Uh, you want to go about three or four minutes tops, I would say. Just get them glazed. That's it. You don't want them too, too much because remember, uh, we're still not done. Even after these are done, we're going to mix both the meat and potatoes and the veggies together. And we're going to bring it all nice and together, but it's going to take a little bit longer. So, we, again, just like the potatoes, you want to cook them 90% done and just give them a little bit more time. So they're just about there. And that's it. We're going to move them all together and mix them all up. So here we kind of bring both worlds together mix them up look at the beautiful colors oh we need a little more color yes i almost forgot the green onions so that's kind of the last step we put in the green onions well almost the last green onions go in mix them all together it's a beautiful looking mixture and then we kind of want to get this into a circle and you'll see why in a second. So we're going to get this into a circle. And then once we get it into a circle, we're going to start uh, putting in some divots, some little holes in the in our little mixture there. So right here, we start divoting, making some little holes, making some little pockets. And I'm sure you can guess what's going in there. Yes, we're going to put eggs in our little divot holes. And that's exactly why I kind of chopped these veggies and sausages uh, kind of small. Because that way it will hold these eggs without them running through and out into the outside. So that's it. We dropped them in. They're nice little nests. And you can see they're just hanging out perfectly. One more. We could have put more. Could have definitely put more. Uh, but I thought four was appropriate for this one. That's what they look like. A little bit of a close-up. <laughs> Man, that looks good. I cannot wait to see what these look like when they're cooked. So we're going to bring it in just a little bit. I had to test it here with the, the top, the cover. And boom. Look at that. <laughs> you want to make sure you have a nice flat seal. And literally, after two minutes, bam, look at that. The eggs look absolutely beautiful. A little close-up here. Everything is perfectly cooked. The eggs are done. Sunny, uh, sunny side up. And look, look at the sausage and the peppers and the andouilles and the potatoes and the onions and oh. All that with the Daddy Dutch heat, sweet heat, looking beautiful. That is exactly what I was going for right there. Let's go check it out. Hoo-wee! Wow! <laughs> Look at this, man. That is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, come on. Look at the colors. Look at the texture. That looks absolutely beautiful. That egg is perfectly cooked. The presentation, oh, come on. That is one beautiful breakfast. Uh, super easy to cook. Just gotta, it's a little prep work in advance, but you saw how the prep work works. Chop, 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 chop. Put it in a bowl, chop, 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 put it in a bowl. 
and you cook it all on the Blackstone. <laughs> it comes out great every time. So uh, I cannot wait to dig into this, but first I want to thank my friend Kent from Daddy Dutch Barbecue for sending me his uh, Daddy Dutch Barbecue Sweet Heat Rub. Um, I can't wait to try it. I heard it's a little spicy, but I can't wait. So I'm going to give it a shot right now for the first time. And just to finish it off, we're going to give just a little bit right on top of the egg there, just for presentation. Oh, oh. Woo. sweet heat. Cannot wait. We're going to cut into this egg and see how it all looks. Oh, look at the creamy egg. Oh. That is beautiful. All right, let's dig in. Because I love me some hash breakfast. That egg stayed right in there, man. That's awesome. Big bite. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I got an Anduli sausage. I got the potatoes. Obviously, I got the egg, some onions. Mmm. Wow. Unbelievable. That is delicious. I love spicy food. But all these compliments go together so well. The sweetness of the onions and the peppers, the bite of the andouille sausage, the creaminess of the eggs, oh, the nice texture of the potatoes. The potatoes kind of potatoes kind of like bring everything together, and that has got some heat, but it tastes great. Everybody, I want to thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.